Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky, and whoops a daisy, I missed my upload day on Monday. I thought I had a video scheduled, but it turns out I didn't. So this is a little delayed from Monday. Uh, today we're working in a new journal that I don't think you peeps have seen over here on YouTube, which I'll chat about in a moment. But I'm starting off looking through some kind of harvested magazines that I've, I really just need to go through them and take out every last little thing that I could possibly use in my journals as a focal image or in my en masse journal, which I'm still working on, uh, but I haven't. I did a little poll on my Insta stories the other day or the other week, and I was asking if people kept their magazine carcasses and found it hard to get rid of them. And I wasn't the only one. Majority of you though can throw them away. And I am in the majority. I think it was about 25% found it difficult. Uh, but I'm glad I'm not the only one. So maybe maybe we can do a little de-stash sesh and go through our art journals, to, our magazines together and find images for our art journals, perhaps. So this journal is a new one. Uh, it's one that I made over on my Patreon. And I'm calling it my Jamie journal because it is an altered uh, recipe book by Jamie Oliver and I am going to cover up his face on the cover and redo that but while it's I feel like that's the the final piece to this journal uh, and I'm not definitely not there yet so for this page I did off camera uh, put some white gesso across both of them because this paper of course is it's not made for journals it's made to look at recipes in and it's definitely not uh, up to dealing with mixed media I wasn't quite sure what I was actually going to do on this page yet uh, I knew I had some tissue that I I wanted to to try and use and that was about it I didn't know how much I didn't know if I was going to add some watercolor maybe uh, but I didn't so the first thing I did was I grabbed my matte gel medium and I stuck that first big piece of beautiful tissue paper that a darling subscriber sent to me. So if that was you, thank you very much. I have been using it like crazy lately. Uh, you'll probably see it pop up in, in videos over the next few months. And I purposely placed a piece over the spine uh, because this book, like I said, it's not... It's not meant to be a journal and so it uh, it isn't made to withhold the I guess the pressure that a lot of mixed media places on the binding uh, twine and so whenever I can cover up the spine gap then I try to uh, just to avoid adding more wetness to the spine and just breaking the paper down really. I'm using my Liquitex matte gel medium to stick tissue freaking everywhere because I was in a real stick and plonk all the things mood. Uh, so those two floral tissue papers were sent to me in happy mail and then the black and white one, I have a feeling it's a ranger one, could be Tim Holtz and I think it's from a couple of years ago but it may still be available. So I've stuck down all of my uh, tissue and then I've been loving this washi tape lately. I, I recently made a little uh, mini kit over on Patreon and I used some washi tapes in there and it's kind of inspired me to, to try and reach for them more often. So this is a, a, it's a Tim Holtz one and I've had it sitting on my desk to try and use more often. Uh, so I'm just sticking some little bits here and there. It really does blend in. Uh, quite well it's a good actually it's a good kind of middle ground between the floral paper and the what can we call it the black and white texty type paper because it has that texty look but it has touches of uh, soft pink and like a minty a dark mint green uh, which is in the floral pieces so it kind of ties them together which I really like sticking this last down on the right hand side of the page and I'm just using my matte gel medium to stick her down I got her out of a Frankie magazine which is one of my favorite magazines if you can get your hands on it it's a nice one it has a lot of quirky images it's quite a, a hipster type magazine uh, it's an Aussie publication and the paper is 
very thick and very matte, uh, which is fun to play with because most of the other magazines that I use have a real gloss to them, like uh, Bizarre, Vogue, In Style, uh, other fashion titles that I can't remember. And I do prefer to work with the, uh, the matte pages for sure. You'll have to excuse my st slightly stuffy nose. Uh, my darling children have passed on their head colds again. Uh, Violet started daycare two weeks ago and immediately got sick and then passed it on to Archie who then coughed in my face all night and I now also have head cold which is great fun uh, but yes yeah, so please I do apologize for my stuffy stuffy nose but I think it's going to be that way for the next uh, week and I really wanted to get this video out before my next one on Monday there'll be another video on Monday so I'm adding all these splats here and there I wanted to just create a bit of softness behind this girl so really messily I added some watered down uh, pink dilutions paint and then I'm also adding it around the edges of the page with my paintbrush very very messily uh, because I just wanted a little a little touch of paint and I didn't want anything to look too paint strokey if that makes sense I just wanted a bit of a hint of paint uh, without the really bold painty lines for today I, you peeps know I love a good quote I love adding a good quote to my pages I'm not one that journals a lot of personal things in my art journals but the quotes that I pick always reflect how I'm feeling at the time or they're just a quote that Kind of speaks to me and I'm like oh wow that mm, that was a good one and uh, so for today I wanted to include a quote I was originally going to pop it on the left hand side of the page just next to that big red uh, flower on the left but it was looking a bit chaotic over there so I decided to go around this girl instead and I really really love the way it looked uh, and I'd love to know if you include journaling in your art journals. Do you typically use journaling that just goes straight across the page? Or do you like to have a bit of a play and have sideways journaling and roundabout journaling like uh, today's video has? I'd love to know if you include journaling that's personal or if you are like me and you use quotes and things or word stickers and phrases that you cut out from uh, magazines. What words do you include in your journaling? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, I have some exciting news too. I have picked a day for an inky quill scrap stream, which will be fun. So it will be December 6th. Sixth is a hard word to say. It will be December 6th, which is a Sunday for my Aussie peeps and peeps that live around my neck of the woods in the globe. Uh, if you are in Europe, I think it's Saturday night. And if you're in this um, Canada and the States, I think it is Saturday during the day and afternoon. Uh, and I'm going to start it at 7.30 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time, AEDT. So if you're looking uh, on a time converter website, pick the Sydney time zone. Whatever time zone Sydney is, is what I am. Uh, so that will be exciting and it will be over on my Inky Quill YouTube channel. So we'll start at 7.30 and we'll go for several hours. We'll see how we go. Uh, Violet's going to go off to my parents for the day, all going well. And Aaron's going to hang out with Archie. Uh, so hopefully we should get about four hours in, I'm hoping, maybe five if, if little people behave themselves and, <laughs> and let mummy scrap and art and do all of the fun painty inky things. Uh, but yes, so pop it in your calendars. I will continue to do updates over on my Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, I'm Inky Quill. And I will also post things on the YouTube community page for both of the channels if, uh, if you want to check that it's still that it's still on. All right, peeps, this page is all done. I did get a bit splat happy, 
but I felt like it needed some scruffing up a little bit and I love the way it turned out. It was just a really nice easy stick and plonk type page and I really wanted the journaling to be a focus but also not be too in your face. So that's it for me today peeps please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you enjoy art journaling and I will see you next week over on my Inky Quill channel on Monday with a new video. Uh, have a great weekend peeps. Bye!